Craft Beer channel, welcome to another cooking edition. Yeah. Uh, today we're mixing it up a little bit because I've brought along a beer and I want to see if Jim can find something to match with it. I did know what it was in advance. Yeah, yeah I'm not springing it on him now in ready, ready steady cook right. style because it's quite a lot of ingredients you've brought along. Yes, yeah, so it would yeah. be a good guess. Wouldn't yeah, it, it would. Uh, so I've brought along my favourite beer at the moment. It's called Ninkasi. It's my wild beer. Uh, well, make, well, there's a million things that make this beer special. Yeah. Uh, firstly, it's from Cider Country, but it's a beer. Secondly, it's got apples in it. What? It's got apples in it. Well, how does that make it a beer, Johnny? Well, it's still brewed, but they've added they've added apples for a bit of sweetness and a bit of sugar, extra sugar to ferment. Yes. Yep, it's gone up to 9% this beer. There's almost a wine as well, which makes and sense. And it's in a big bottle. And it's in a big bottle. So, uh, yeah, they've also aged it, sec secondary fermented it in the bottle with champagne yeast. Mm. So it's doubly vinous. Mm. And then they've also thrown in a load of uh, New Zealand hops, Nelson Sovin and that sort of thing, which have a vinous character to it. So it's a very winey, very cidery beer. Okay. What are you going to do, Jim? So I thought pork, cream, that'll cut nicely through the yeasty, the champagne yeasty yeah. sort of black kick you get. Um, with onions, smoky bacon, so there's got to be a smoky element in there. I think that will work beautifully. Uh, mustard, a beer mustard that Johnny made, and mushrooms cooked with cider, which apple isn't cider. beer, strictly, and it's not apple beer. This nope. is very much cider. This is Mary Down. Yeah, they just use really good heritage apples to create quite a dry, finished cider. Jim, you're waffling, get on with it. Okay. I'll leave the beer with you, no drinking. So, let's go in, let's get it up to heat, with some little pearl onions. They're a bit of a faff to peel, so I've gone with pickled onions as a cheat. Let's get those in. Garlic. In. Bacon. Smoked bacon. In. Mushrooms, in. So I've just browned off a little bit the onions, the mushrooms and the bacon. I'm going to take it out now so we can make some room for the pork. Just put it to the side, drain the fat off if you can. I'm going to go in with the medallions. This is the medallions of, of uh, billet, so they'll cook nice and quickly. But we just want to get a little bit of colour on them. Put the bacon, mushrooms and onions back into the pan. Cider! Arrgh. Try and cover it. It will reduce really quickly. Oh, it smells amazing. Oh, what a combination. So that should reduce down. That's almost a bottle there. Cook it away. With some mustard. This is this is actually whole grain beer mustard made by Johnny, who's holding the camera now. How did you make it, Johnny? Oh, that's right. You did a video. You can link to it. There you go. Give it a nice bit of bite. You just want to cook it until it looks caramelly and sort of slides down in strands. See that? Sort of grouping together rather than moving sort of quickly like water. Let's get the uh, the cream in. Right, don't be shy, it won't split. Okay, takes the temperature down. Give it a stir. Look at that. Look at that. Reduce this down again for another couple of minutes until it goes sticky again. But first, I'm going to add a bit of sage. And a little bit more pepper just to cut through the fat. Okay, the bubbles are big and fat now, so that's ready. So we're going to plate up. A couple of carrots, four vitamin C. Okay. Barely cooked. Finish off with a slice of the apple and a bit of the black pudding. So there you have it. Johnny, do you want to come over and see if your beer works with this? Uh, posh? Posh, it's... well it's a mandate. Okay. Yeah. I thought, well they, they say, they say on the bottle you should serve it in a champagne flute 
I thought that might be just a step too far for you. Yeah. So, got a wine glass, two men of an evening. Beautiful. You're beautiful. Oh, you can, you can smell how lively it is, can't you? Mm. It, smell, it smells a lot like Duvel. It does. A little bit more, a little bit sweeter. Incredible. Yeah, that's it's really, really, really good. good. Oh, citrus kind of food. Much, much smoother. Not buttery, but not in a diacetyl mm. kind of way. Buttery in it. And it's like a creamy mouthfeel. Oh, that's lovely. It's tingling the side of the tongue. Mm. Gorgeous. I'm telling you. That's not a match in heaven. Back to school. Marion. And the beer cuts right through with the vinous. Mm. It's also quite creamy, which mm. just goes with the texture of the dish. Yeah, perfect. Cheers. If you can't, if you can't get something like this, because obviously this is quite a unique beer. Mm. I think I think a Duvel will go quite well. well. Yeah. Or a Belgian wit. Any trap. Any trap. Yeah. Or anything Asian, a white wine barrel to give it that acidity that the cut through the cream. But you want a bit of alcohol to give it a, a sweetness. Mm. But yeah, that's perfect, Jim. We should do this again. You know it. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. Film the other thing, Jim. I want just to eat this until um, I, don't know, I fall asleep in your arms. I'd ignore that too. <laughs>